皆さん、こんばんは。私はマッシュ日本です。今日一緒に新しい日本酒を飲みましょう。Hello everyone, this is Matthew in Nihon coming to you with yet another Nihon shoe review. And today I am reviewing a very special Nihon shoe from the Oga Shuzo Sakagora. This Sakagora is based in Chikushino City, not too far from where I live right now. Founded in the year of 1673 during the Edo period, this Sakagora has the benefit of a very plentiful water supply of great quality, which allows them to produce a great, consistent, delicious Nihonshu. Now, it's also very close to Dezaifu Tenmangu, which is one of the most famous temples here in Fukuoka, and I do intend to take you there someday. It's also regularly involved in at least one of the frequent festivals in the area. But let's talk about the Nihonshu. So, today I am drinking something called Tamaide Izumi. It's a Junmai Ginjo, and it's a very dry Junmai Ginjo. It's also the winner of this week's foreign vote. Now, the Semaibui is 55%, and the alcohol level is about 15%. Unfortunately, even by checking their website and various other sources and the bottle itself, I was not able to find. The Nihon Shuto or SMV. So I'm unfortunately stuck with guessing. But based on what I know, I do believe this is probably about a positive three because it's very dry. It is reported and famed for having a dry, sharp, and spicy quality. So I am, of course, looking forward to drinking it. But first, Today is a very special day. Now, some of you know this, but part of my goal has been to encourage all of you to try Nihonshu. But it's also to encourage people to stop thinking of Nihonshu as something that is only drinkable with traditional Japanese foods like o sashimi or o sushi or any other traditional dish. Because with its wide range of flavors, this is a drink that can be paired with anything. Any food in the world can match with Nihonshu. And to that end, I decided to create a very special pairing. So, today we are matching this Nihonshu with. That's right, McDonald's. We have a spicy chicken sandwich from McDonald's, a fish fillet sandwich, and then moving over, we have chicken nuggets and sashimi. In case this experiment fails, sashimi is a good, clean flavor profile that. Lasts and works very, very well with dry Nihon shoes. And now, without further ado, let's pour. All right. Now the Nihonshu has been poured, and it's time for us to enjoy. Let's give this a try. When it sits in your mouth, It's got a nice creamy quality. There's a hint of an aftertaste, but it doesn't. I guess it really is more of the spicy qualities that have been hinted at. All in all, it's very smooth, it's very clean, 
not overly complex, but good. There's a hint of vanilla. But it's fairly simple, but delicious. Now, as you saw in the earlier shot, I decided to include sashimi. One, because it is a very clean flavor. And because this is a new Nihonshu, I figured I would try the more traditional taste so that I can better compare the co and contrast with the McDonald's food. This is one of my earliest attempts at this kind of mad science, so I thought it would be a good unit of measurement. Let's start with the sashimi. Mmm. Immediately, there's a creamy melon quality. That is quite nice. Simple, but enjoyable. Next, let's move on to chicken nuggets. I have the honey mustard that comes with McDonald's food, but I'm going to try it straight first. Mmm. It seems to pair with the vanilla quality and it also brought out a slight hint of melon. But beyond that, it wasn't radically different. Now, I've been working carefully to slowly move from drier, more clean flavors toward the more complex. So before we move on to the burgers, I'm going to add a little bit of the mustard sauce. And let's see how that works out. Nice little helping of it there. It brought out more of the herbal qualities to it. Definitely interesting. Oh. Okay. That second bit did not have the mustard sauce on it, at least not much, but it changed a little. This time it had a brownie quality to it. It was hearty, sweet, but not overpoweringly. Very fulfilling in an interesting way. <laughs> I never thought I would say this, but McDonald's chicken nuggets and a dry Junmai Ginjo are not a bad pairing. Not at all. But the next food on the list 
is the fish fillet. Because it's a dry Nihonshu, fish, chicken, lighter meats were recommended as a pairing, and I happen to agree. So I decided to go for the fish fillet first. Just see how it turns out. Hmm. Interesting. It briefly brought out the vanilla. I think I need to try another bite. Yeah. This time it brought out some more of the herbal qualities and maybe the slightest hint of melon. But in an interesting way, the tartar sauce seemed to also highlight and bring out the more acidic qualities of this Nihonshu. It's not perhaps the greatest pairing. I do think this would perhaps work better with more of a typical cooked fish dish. But. In fact, I would stand by that. I think this is a good Nihonshu for any kind of grilled fish, uh, barbecued fish, but this is definitely a fish Nihonshu. Still, before I come to too many conclusions, we have one last meal. The McDonald's Spicy Chicken Sandwich. I somehow suspect that the spiciness is going to overpower the flavor, but you never know. Let's give it a try. Ooh, that was interesting. There was a slight, slight hint of a fruity essence that I do not recall being described in any of the other comments about this Nihonshu. I'm gonna try one more time. If I did not know any better, I would say I just got a hint of mango. That's a new one on me. But it is good. And so is this Nihonshu. I do believe that this is maybe not the best Nihonshu for McDonald's. This was a bit of mad science, but I will be trying again with McDonald's. Probably with a sweeter Nihonshu. But still, one of the keys and one of the points of exploring is trying new things. Sometimes you never know. You might find something you like. So never be afraid to try new things. But with that in mind, <clears throat> I do have a short announcement. So as you've just seen, in the future, I'm planning to do more pairings between Nihonshu and foreign foods from a variety of countries. I've already experimented a little bit with Nihonshu and curry. And this coming week, I will be hosting a live stream 
with some major updates and announcements for you guys. And any, if any of you have any questions for me, you can go ahead and think about them. And when I do the live stream, throw them my way. I'll answer anything I can. Until then, always remember to be willing to go beyond the horizon. You never know what you're going to find. Until next time, please keep safe. Minasan, kyotsukete kudasai. Jamata.